Hello, everyone. Avon, greetings to you from all of us from Awakus Now. I'm Pastor Kevin, and I'm so glad that we can spend a few minutes together preparing for Jesus. Advent is a time to look back to see what Jesus did and said and uh, celebrate his birth. And it's also a time to prepare for his second coming. Advent is both of those. We've been looking at uh, Isaiah 9, one of the key prophecies uh, pointing to Jesus, uh, where it says this, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Everlasting Father, that's interesting, that this Messiah to come will be called Everlasting Father. Aren't the Father and the Son two different entities? Well, it's, it's interesting to see toward the end of Jesus' life before he was arrested, he had a conversation with Philip. Philip had a conversation with him, and it says this in John 14. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and we'll be satisfied. And then this is what Jesus said. Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show him to you? Don't you believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own, but my Father who lives in me does his work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe because the work you have seen me do. You see how Jesus, in his words and his actions, reflect and re represent all that the Father is about. It says this, um, Jesus says this, don't you believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own, but my Father who lives in me does his work through me. Just believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me. So you see the words and the actions of Jesus completely represent and reflect who the Father is. Jesus says in, in John 12, I don't speak on my own authority. The Father who sent me has commanded me what to say and how to say it. And I know his commands lead to eternal life. So I say, whatever the Father tells me to say. <laughs> All over John, you see Jesus showing how he and the Father are one. In John 5, Jesus says this, I tell you the truth, the Son can do nothing by himself. He does only what he sees the Father doing. Whatever the Father does, the Son also does. <laughs> and I love this from John uh, 15, where Jesus says this to his disciples, I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now I call you my friends since I've told you everything the Father told me. You didn't choose me. I chose you and I pointed you to produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. This is my command, love each other. If we want to know what the Father is about, we see what the, what the Son is doing, what he said and what he did. And Jesus kept coming back to this, that it is all about the love. You see the love of the, of the Father to the Son and then the, the love of the Son to us. And now Jesus is saying, this is my command, love each other. How much did God love us? Well, you see that in John 3, where he says, uh, God so loved the world, insert your name, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God so wants you to be his. He so much loved you that he gave up his son, that we may have a new relationship, that we may, that we may respond to God in faith and say, I believe, Lord, I want you to be mine and I want to be yours. And he says, absolutely, you are mine. <laughs> and then what does he say? Love each other. Sometimes there are depictions about who God is, different ideas of who he is based on maybe some Old Testament scriptures. And there's some new ideas of who God is now that 
uh, is not in, in scripture. It says, uh, and we read earlier that he, Jesus will be uh, represented as the everlasting father. God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The same depiction of God through Jesus is who God is all the way back and all the way to this present day. So let's take some time during this Advent and respond to God in faith. First of all, saying, Lord, I'm yours. I'm all in. But then let's take the next step and love sacrificially the same way Jesus loved us. On the cross, he said, uh, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. He forgave the sins of the of the man next to him on the cross. And he said, today you will be with me in paradise. He wants everybody to be with him in paradise, in eternity. And now he wants us to love each other. Love those who are easy to love (laughs) and love those who are hard to love. (laughs) That's what Jesus did. And that's what we're about today. So friends, let's love vigorously, outrageously, and self-sacrificially. Amen? (laughs) Have a great Advent. Blessings.